For more now on China's political season, Liu Pao Cheng joins us from Beijing. He's the director of the Center for International Business Ethics at the University of International Business and Economics. Good morning, Professor. Welcome to the show. Hi there. Hi. So one of the major themes to emerge from the two sessions is this new economic model that prizes new quality productive forces. What do you take from that and how does it align with the current five-year plan? Well, China is now in a very much a critical juncture for transformation from the labor-intensive industries and now into more of the innovation-driven industries. And uh, in the meantime, we are also looking at the holistic way of uh, how to enhance the quality of people's life. So therefore, the focus is no longer on the gross figures, but uh, also on the environmental quality, on the social amenity and prosperity together with the, uh, the uh, global interaction. So therefore, the uh, new productive forces is really targeting at uh, those critical uh, innovative areas with uh, new technologies such as quantum compute, computing, cloud computing, Internet of Things, and uh, the uh, uh, biofarms. So, uh, and on the other hand, we are also looking at uh, sustainability. So, therefore, uh, this new proposition of uh, new quality. Uh, productive forces is there to boost another round of Chinese growth. Uh, at the moment, uh, integration is also very important, not only with the rest of the world, but also between China. And uh, uh, we can see that the, the regional integration in the northern China, in the Yangtze River Delta, and also with the Pro Hub River, together with Hong Kong, uh, is going on. So therefore, uh, it is really much demanding for uh, many of those people to transform from the old-fashioned way of operation. And also, it is a challenging task for the government as they, they have to learn new vision and new skills as how to govern the country on a new level. I like how you bring out this you know, critical junction of a growth that's powered by high-tech and innovation. Uh, but how long will this transition take? When will we really see it come into being? And what will it take to sustain this kind of growth? I think that's a very good question. Uh, one is that uh, we do not really see the end of the, uh, uh, of the tunnel with the light because it is an ongoing process. Uh, it is disruptive at the moment because, uh, uh, for example, our educational sector is also now uh, facing the challenge of uh, how students using the chat GBT to, uh, to work on their uh, exam and uh, how we can really address plagiarism in a new fashion. Mm. And, uh, and now the... Uh, in, in the application part for uh, production, for example, in the rural area, uh, there are uh, drones being used, Internet of Things uh, are, uh, also being used, and live streaming is used. Uh, I think this is really a very long process. It could be subversive to the current mode of production, and uh, uh, there has been continuous improvement and continuous interaction with the uh, rest of the world. Uh, so, uh, people call it the fourth uh, industrial revolution. I, uh, you know, with all the digitization that's in big application. But the challenge in China, uh, for example, is uh, one is that we need to reinvent our educational system so that uh, we are able to produce the right type of capacity and also vision of graduates so that they get uh, more fitted to the uh, new way of operation. And then uh, the new organization needs to take place uh, within the uh, state-owned enterprises and also in the Chinese rural area. If you uh, take the example of the Chinese rural area, and the farmers are uh, given small pieces of land, they work very hard, and they get motivated, but uh, you need really to bring more of the small plots of land to bring into cooperatives so that uh, the digital economy can really play out for new productivity. So otherwise, you know, the, uh, simply by manual operation uh, with small pieces, it doesn't generate any uh, type of scale. And then the, uh, 
the hukou system, which uh, means that they divide the different status of uh, the uh, city dwellers versus those rural workers mm -hmm. needs to be further mm -hmm. uh, eliminated so that people can really e enjoy the equal rights in mobility and also equal rights to the social uh, welfare. So uh, a lot of uh, the institutional changes needs to take place to make it compatible to the new demand of uh, the uh, digital economy and also the fourth uh, industrial revolution. And, now, and, and building on this fourth industrial revolution, I like how you bring out that this is an ongoing process. So broadly speaking, how is China uh, progressing on the current 14th five-year plan, which of course those guidelines were set during a very uncertain economic period uh, driven by the coronavirus pandemic back in 2020? That's true. Uh, China's economy is still in a rehabilitative mode, and uh, uh, the uh, damage uh, to the uh, not only the economy but the COVID, it was also uh, uh, damage uh, that was really visible with the uh, uh, social psychology, and so therefore the confidence on the consumer side, on the investor side, need time to get uh, recovered. And uh, therefore, you do see that uh, the, uh, despite of the government efforts to stimulate consumption, and uh, consumers are still rather conservative. And despite the fact that the government is pr encouraging the private sectors to invest more, uh, the uh, Chinese PMI uh, is still below the threshold. So therefore, it really requires more uh, time, but also more of the assurance from the government, from the legislative circle, that uh, the uh, one the job opportunities uh, will be more on the table, and uh, so that they can really have regular income and hopefully increased income uh, in order to uh, boost the conception. And the other is that uh, the uh, it, private investors, together with uh, foreign enterprises, needs to be given more of a business-friendly environment, mm -hmm. so, uh, and particularly by the rule of law, so that uh, they have more predictability over uh, what is really the, the return uh, on, the, uh, on their hard work and on the investment. Protection of uh, intellectual right. property is utterly important to deal with critical technolo uh, technology that can transform the Chinese way of production.